Well, hey, everybody, this is Robert, and welcome to Outbreak News TV. Uh, I want to take a look at Florida's numbers with uh, COVID-19. Uh, Florida is one of the states that have been uh, part of this surge that's happened in the past um, several days to weeks. And I want to take a little um, deeper dive look at some of the numbers. And, um, right, they've been... People have been talking about Florida, Arizona, Texas, and several of these other southern states. California is being hit pretty hard, too, um, right now. But uh, let's uh, dedicate a little bit of time to Florida. And this is their latest um, report from the State Emergency Response Team with the Florida Division of Emergency Management. And um, they report... Uh, today on Sunday, June 28th, eight thousand five hundred and thirty new positive COVID cases. Um, the vast majority, of course, are in Florida residents, and this is out of more than seventy-two thousand tests reported to the Department of Health as of midnight Saturday, June twenty-seventh. Now, of, these, of this number, 29 Florida resident fatalities were reported. So we had 72,000 plus tests done, uh, 8,500 new positives. That gives us a about 12.5% percent, uh, percent uh, new cases tested positive. Now, this brings the total of Florida cases to over 141,000 and 3,419 deaths. Okay, so let's um, take a closer look at the state. And here's the summary for the state. And as you can see, we've seen 141,075 total cases. The vast majority, you can see, are Florida residents, about 2,500 non-Florida residents. And on here on this bar chart, you can see how things have really jacked up in recent weeks. And here, here's on June 14th, the state was reporting 1,765. And that, and of course, on Friday was the, the record day with 9,564. And uh, slightly more, or more than 8,500 cases uh, on Saturday. Key, some key numbers here, the outcomes. So there's been over 14,000 hospitalizations due to COVID in the state of Florida, which is 10% of all the cases. Um, and 3,419 fatalities, 2% of the total cases in Florida residents. And down here, we can see the latest, we could, we could see how um, the latest day, so there was over 61,000 uh, negative tests on Saturday. Now I want to take a look at some of the bigger counties. And uh, let's take a look at their numbers and see how they are. And the first one I want to do is Dade County. Of course, this is where Miami is. Um, Dade County has a population of 2.7 million people. And a density of 1,000 people per square mile. Now, since the pandemic began, um, Dade County's reported over 33,000 cases of COVID. And you can see how they've really increased over the past couple weeks. Today, they had a massive, or excuse me, Saturday, they had over 2,100 cases. So that's definitely... Uh, a rise for Miami-Dade. So far, they've had almost 4,000 hospitalizations, which is 12% of their whole total cases, and 953 deaths, which is 3% of all the cases they've had so far. And of the number of tests that were done, Miami looks like they had about 12,000 tests performed on Saturday. Uh, 2,160 were positive. That's almost 18% positive. So Miami did have a rough day on Saturday. 
Let's take a look at their some of their neighbors down south. Um, and we'll go to Palm Beach County. Palm Beach County. Let's see. Of course, is the where West Palm Beach, the city is, and they have a population in the county of 1.5 million and a density of 747 people per square mile. Now, their total cases are 13,389. The vast majority, of course, are residents. On Saturday, they saw 462 positives. So that's a little bit lower than, I mean, their worst day so far looks like it was Thursday with over 600. In Palm Beach County, they've had uh, a little bit higher rate of hospitalization, right? 1,727 over the, the span of the pandemic. That's 13% of all cases and 503 fatalities, which is 4% of all the cases. And on Saturday, looks like they ran over, you know, about 5,300, 5,400 uh, tests, and they had a positive percentage of 8.6. Okay, and again, staying in South Florida, I want to look at Broward County. Broward County is the home of Fort Lauderdale, and Broward County's population is roughly around 2 million and they have about 1,300 people per square mile. And on Saturday, their total case number is 14,620. Uh, about 300 were non-residents. So the vast majority, again, are Florida residents, as we would expect. On Saturday, we did see a dip. Um, went to 584 positive cases on Saturday. That's about 150 less than Friday. So far, Broward has reported nearly 2,000 fatalities. That's about 14% of all the cases, excuse me, not fatalities, hospitalizations, about 14%, and 382 fatalities, which is 3% of their total. And on Saturday, there was, again, about 5,300 tests performed, and they had a percent positive rate of about 11%. Okay, we're going to get away from South Florida and head into Central Florida, into Orange County. Orange County, of course, is the home of Orlando. Um, this has a population of about 1.4 million people. And their density is about 1,493 people per square mile. So, so far the most dense county that we've gone over so far. And to date... They had 9,671 positive cases, um, about 9,500 are Florida residents. They had their roughest day on Thursday when they went, the, they eclipsed the 1,000 mark and has since gone down. Now they're at 831. Here, here's some good numbers though for Orange County. Uh, only 539 hospitalizations so far, which is 5% of the total cases up here. And 56 fatalities, 1% of the total uh, case cases for the county. On Saturday, it looks like they ran about 4,700 tests. And they had a percent positive rate of 17.4%. So that was that was pretty high. But still, the numbers do look a little bit better than they have in recent days in Orange County. Um, this county is going to, there's going to be a lot of interest in what goes on in this county in, in the next couple months, as this is going to be the host of the Republican National Convention, Duval County. Duval County, of course, is the home of Jacksonville, Florida. This has a population, Duval County has a population of about a million. And Duval County's density is about 1,231 people per square mile. And since the pandemic began, they've reported about 5,500 total positive cases. And you can see that Duval County was very low in cases on a daily basis 
just going back two weeks ago, we was 45, 55. Then we saw it starting to spike up. And today was Duval County's worst day. And as they reported out, not, not today, but Saturday, with 739 cases. Um, of their total, 342 hospitalizations, or 6% of the total cases, and 64 fatalities, 1% of all the cases. Now in Duval, they performed about 6,600 um, laboratory tests for COVID and 11% positive rate. But yeah, Duval is going to, we're going to be keeping our eye very closely on Duval because in about two months, I think it begins on August 24th, a lot of people are going to be heading into Jacksonville for the RNC. Okay, next, Hillsborough County. And Hillsborough County, of course, is the home of Tampa, Florida. Uh, Hillsborough County has a population of 1.5 million people. And the density is about 1,381 people per square mile. So one of the more densely populated counties that we're going over. And Florida, or excuse me, Hillsborough County is right on the cusp of 10,000. So they've had 9,918 cases so far. All but 86 were Florida residents. Um, Hillsborough County had their worst day on Friday when they had 1,100 cases. On Saturday, that dropped to 787. Uh, hospitalization numbers, a little over 600 or 6% of all the cases and 132 deaths, or 1% of all the cases. So on Saturday, there were about 5,500 uh, tests performed in Hillsborough County, a positive rate of 14.5%. And going right across the bridge over to Pinellas County, um, the home of St. Petersburg, Florida. Now, Pinellas County has a population, this is the smallest county that I'm going over, 265,000 people. Um, but a very, very dense place. Pinellas County is the densest one I'm going over today. 4,293 people per square mile. And they've had about 6,000 total cases so far. Vast majority, of course, Florida residents. 635 hospitalizations or 11% of all the cases and 154 deaths or 3% of all the cases. On Saturday, there were just shit shy of 3000 tests performed in Pinellas County and 10.6% were positive. Now there's a lot of counties I left out. There's 67 counties in the state of Florida. And if I was to pick out some of the more rural counties, which is really what you see when you look at the state of Florida, the numbers are very, very low in a lot of areas. You're seeing like dozens to hundreds of cases and um, some counties have no fatalities at all. Others have, you know, a small number. So it really depends on where you look at the country or the, um, the state of Florida. Um, but it's good to see that some of these numbers look better today. We'll see how it goes next week. Um, and uh, anyway, just want to give you a thumbnail of some of the major metropolitan areas in the state of Florida. Uh, I did, of course, I missed out on a lot of them, but these were some of the biggies. And I um, hope that uh, shed some light on what's going on in Florida a little bit, you know, strictly by the numbers, not by uh, politics or the media. And uh I hope you appreciate um, this program. Please share it with your friends. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Comment below. I love to hear what you got to say, especially if you're from Florida. Love to hear what you got to say. And I'll see you next time on Outbreak News TV.